Today we continue with uh, lesson 9. Uh, that is create a crude repository. Crude repository is an interface between your application and the database. So all the data comes to the crude repository and from the crude repository it goes to your application. Interestingly, uh, there is an interface in, in JPA called JPA repository and we also have crude repository that extends JPA repository. So this interface gives us the basic uh, functionalities, for instance, uh, find all or select, insert, delete, and update. All these functions have been written for us uh, right there. So we can't, we can, we don't need to actually implement them ourselves. So we simply use it. So to use it, we need to create a, a, a repository first. And this repository we are going to create is an will be an interface. We call it student repository, and it's going to extend crude repository. So that is all we need to do, and then we be able to use all the ready-made functions that has been uh, created for us. So to do that, normally you need to put the repository inside the repositories package. So go to SRC main. Let me shift this a bit. SRC main, and just come to this place. I'll just say new class. So this class I'm going to call it students repository. So we want to put this in um, this. Oh, I actually should have created an interface. No, no problem. Let's create a class after we change it to an interface. So it's going to be inside repositories. Okay. So then repository create inside repositories. So again, if you miss out something, uh, you have this procedure for you to follow. So make it an interface. So instead of a class, call it an interface and make it extend CRUD repository. So extends CRUD repository. Okay, make it extend CRUD repository. And if you're extending CRUD repository, you need to specify the name of the entity you are working with and also the primary key type in this entity. The name of the entity we are working with is called student, or the name of the model, and the primary key is integer, okay? So this is the two things you need to do. Now save it, and then on your keyboard, press Control shift o and it's going to give uh, provide the necessary name, import the necessary namespaces in there. Okay, and then the next thing you want to do, annotate this class with at repository annotation. So at repository and at repository annotation is available in the um of the spring framework the stereotype so it's a stereotype um so control shift o on the keyboard i'm going to save everything and now we have our repository ready so we are now moving on to step 10 which is uh, we are now going to be talking about creating a business service i'd like to thank you for viewing and let's now see the next lesson